to move the water from this container to this container. Now, I could just pour it, but what if it's too heavy? It's too heavy! Help me, science! Well, science to the rescue with this! A clear plastic tube! Ooh, sciency. Okay, watch this. I'm gonna make a siphon, and it's pretty complicated, so follow along. Are you ready? I stick one end in here, and one end in here! Whoa! Yeah, I know, it's not working yet, but that's because we haven't added the science. First, we need to add a little bit of suction and suck the water through the hose like a straw. It has to go over the highest point. Watch this. And there we go. Look, the water is going up. I can even make the water go up even more and it still works. But why does the water go up? Water doesn't like to go up, right? Well, the reason why is because there's more water going down than there is going up. So that creates suction on this end and the gravity of this water pulls that water up. So gravity is doing all the work for us. And that is a siphon, huh? So now let's max it out. This is the same container of water, but now it's colored slightly blue so you can see it go all the way up through this hose. The only really hard part about this is sucking the water all the way up to there. Okay, here we go. <laughs> I got it working. Now, the reason why it's working is because there's just a bit more water on this side of the tube than there is on this side of the tube. With a siphon, it doesn't matter how far you go up, as long as the water on one side is lower than the other. Science. You know about helium balloons, right? Helium is a harmless gas that is less dense than air, which is why helium floats. If I was to breathe some helium, my voice sounds higher because helium is less dense than normal air, so my vocal cords vibrate faster. Ah! Uh... But have you ever wondered, is there a gas that's more dense than air? There is. It's called sulfur hexafluoride, and it's much more dense than air. So if I was to breathe some, my vocal cords would vibrate slower, making my voice lower. Ha 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 ha! This container is full of sulfur hexafluoride. Ooh, I know, it's invisible. You can't see anything. But watch as I blow some bubbles. The bubbles are floating on top of that layer of sulfur hexafluoride. The bubbles float because they're full of regular air, which is less dense than the sulfur hexafluoride. In fact, a balloon will float on this as well. The balloon floats lower because the weight of the latex also drags it down a bit. But the bubbles and the balloons are floating on a sea of sulfur hexafluoride. And it is like a sea because it's a fluid just like water, but it's more dense than regular air. Science! <laughs> That's awesome!